Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. So this is the Mark Booster Part 14 for the Gate Environmental Science and Engineering paper. Here we will discuss some of the important concepts and shortcuts to solve some important numericals. So get ready with your notes so that you can write down all these formulas and the concept which we are going to discuss in this video. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So the first question is on your screen and it is from the mathematical expression. So if you don't know also how to solve this kind of equation, very simple things I will tell you. So the question is consider the following equation. So equation is x cube minus 10x square plus 31x minus 30 is equal to 0. And the question is asking which of the following is or are the roots of the above equation. So here this question is actually multiple select type question. More than one answer can be correct. But here how to solve that? If you don't know how to solve this kind of long lengthy equation, simple thing you can do is that, short trick is that, you can apply the numbers or the options which are given in the question. First we'll take 1 as the example. So in place of x, we will put the value of 1. So what will be the value if you take 1 in the place of x? So we will get that 1 minus 10 plus 31 minus 30. So if this equation, this calculation comes to 0, then that is one of the roots of the given equation. No need to know what is root, what is all this thing. Just simply put the values given in the option and calculate. So after solving this, we are getting the value as minus 8. So it is not coming to 0 after solving this. So 1 cannot be the option. So 1 is discarded. Now we will take 2 in place of x and put them in place of all the x given over here. So in the second option it is 2. So we will take 2. 1 is cancelled. So 2 cube is equal to 8 minus 10 x square that means 10 into 2 square that is 4 that is equal to 40 so 8 minus 40 plus 31 into 2 is equal to 62 minus 30 so after solving this we are getting as yes 62 plus 8 is equal to 70 minus 40 minus 30 is also 70 so 70 minus 70 is equal to 0 yes we have got one of the roots for this equation that means 2 will be one of the options so here let us check all rest of these options that means you have to check for 3 and 4 also. So for 3 and 4 similarly we will place in place of x as 3 so 3 cube is equal to 27 minus 10 into 3 square that is 9. 10 into 3 square is equal to 90 that means 27 minus 90 plus 31 into 3 is equal to 93 minus 30. So after solving this how much we are getting 120 minus 120 it is coming that is equal to 0 so yes 3 will be also one of the roots. So 2 is confirmed and 3 is confirmed. Next thing is 4. So similarly we will put 4 in place of x and what we will get? We will get it as 64 minus 160 because 16 multiplied by 10 is equal to 160 plus 31 fours 124 minus 30. So after solving this we will get as you should also calculate we are getting it as minus 2 as I have calculated earlier. So here this is not the root value of this equation. So 4 will be not, 1 will be not. So only 2 and 3 are the roots for this given equation. So our option will be B and C. So that is very simple. If you don't know how to find this, simply put all the values which are given in the option in place of X and after calculating and solving them, if you are getting 0, that means they are the roots for the equation. So I hope you are able to understand this. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is on your screen. The question is a wind rose is a representation of a meteorological condition. We all know that wind rose. Which of the following is or are included in this representation? And the options are mixing height, wind speed, wind direction or percentage of time. So I'll wait for certain seconds then I'll reveal the answer. So these two things most of you will be knowing that wind speed and wind direction we can get from the wind rose. But one more thing we can also get with the help of modern wind rows that is the percentage of time. So B, C, D all these three options will be the correct option. You will get the full marks. So what is this percentage of time? So the modern wind rows gives the percentage of the time the wind blows from each of the direction. That means from the east direction how much percentage of time the wind has blown from west direction from northeast direction so overall 100 percent from them we will get from which direction how much percentage the wind has blown for the time period which we are calculating or observing so that is the thing you should remember wind rose also calculates the percentage of time the wind blows from each direction during the observation period let's move on to the next question 
next question is on your screen and it is a numerical very very easy if you know the formula so i'll read the question first the question is a flocculation tank used for water treatment has a velocity gradient which is given as capital g of 800 second inverse the volume of the tank is 40 meter cube the dynamic viscosity of the water is 9 into 10 to the power minus 4 and the theoretical power required to maintain the given velocity gradient is of how much kilowatt so the question is telling to round it off to the nearest integer so how to calculate this kind of numerical there's a very chocolate formula you should remember that is p that is power is equal to mu v g square so what are this i will tell you p is the power and mu is what mu is the dynamic velocity or dynamic viscosity which is also given in the question 9 into 10 to the power minus 4 so we'll write it here 9 into 10 to the power minus 4 multiplied by v so v means it will be volume of the tank yes volume of the tank is given as 40 meter cube that means we'll write it here 40 multiplied by g square g is what it is already given velocity gradient it is given as 800 second inverse so 800 square so after calculating this you should also calculate and check we are getting the value as 23040 but here this is not the answer so you should not write anything and get the big zero it is actually we have calculated in the watt because all these things are according to the SI unit of watt but it is asking for the kilowatt so kilowatt what we have to do we have to divide it with thousand so what to kilowatt we have to divide it to thousand so it will be 23.040 the answer will be after dividing it with 1000 so close to the nearest integer it will be 23 will be the answer so here 23 you will write and you will get the full marks very simple p is equal to mu v g square where mu is equal to what mu is equal to dynamic velocity or viscosity and v is the volume of the tank g is the velocity gradient and p is the power which we are able to calculate so here you should note down if you are converting into kilowatt you have to divide the answer which we get by thousand let's move to the next question the next question is from the match the following and we have to match the column one with the column two so this column one are the process or techniques and we have to match what kind of statement or which law are given for the following column one type of activity or process so here i will tell you first so the first thing is diffusion so this diffusion will match with the option two that is the fixed diffusion we will know in the next slide no need to worry drag force this drag force will match with the stokes that means stokes law tells about the drag force next coming to the final part that is atmospheric stability it is determined by the pascal's law so here this thing you should remember diffusion by fixed law drag force by stokes law atmospheric stability by pascal's law so these things are important we will know here fixed law for diffusion actually it is having two important laws you should note down these two are important actually first law is movement of particles that is known as diffusion flux from high to low concentration is directly proportional to the particles concentration gradient so this is about the fixed first law and it is telling about the diffusion and the formula is j is directly proportional to d phi by dx or j is equal to minus d which is a constant and that is actually diffusion coefficient or diffusivity d phi by dx so here what is j capital j is the diffusion flux and that is directly proportional to the particles concentration gradient that is d phi by dx which is denoted as d phi by dx and if we are multiplying with the constant that is diffusion coefficient then it will be equal to it will not be proportional to next is fixed second law what does that tell it states that it is the relation between the change in the concentration gradient of the particles with the time so concentration gradient here it was given in the first law but what is the relationship with the time that thing is given in the fixed second law so it is all about the diffusion when the particles are moving from high to low concentration you should remember that very very important kindly note down all these things in the match the following we had matched the pascal's law that is the pascal stability that so what is that it is a method of categorizing the stability of a region of the atmosphere so atmosphere ka stability ko categorize karne ke liye hum pascal's atmospheric stability ka help lete hain 
in terms of what these are important in terms of horizontal surface wind the amount of solar radiation and the fractional cloud cover these three things are important while considering the stability of the atmosphere if we are categorizing it with the help of pascal stability three things are horizontal surface wind amount of solar radiation which is reaching on that particular atmosphere and the fractional cloud cover present in that atmosphere these three things are important now we will know the final thing that is the stokes law which was given in the match the following what is this stokes law this stokes law calculates the drag force on a spherical body as it travels through a fluid so this is the picture given so here this is the spherical body when it travels through a medium of a fluid then the weight will be downward but the drag force will be dragging it upward so that drag force calculation is as per the stokes law so what does that tell it tells that capital f which is the viscous drag force acting on the sphere is equal to 6 pi r eta nu so here 6 we all know number pi is 3.14 r is the radius of the sphere so which sphere is going or moving in that viscous fluid that is the radius of that sphere will take it a small r and what is this eta eta is the viscosity of the fluid in which the sphere is moving or small v it is not actually new it is small v it is the velocity of the sphere so at what speed that sphere is moving that is small v and to calculate the viscous drag force acting on the sphere which is actually the main motive of the stokes law the formula is 6 pi r eta small v so these things are also important they can ask numerical from this formula also so guys i hope you have enjoyed the video you have noted down the important numerical formulas and you have learned something new from here if you want to know how to prepare for the gate environmental science and engineering and haven't watched this video you can watch this i'll provide that in the description also so all the best for the examination no need to panic whatever you have prepared that things are also going to come in the examination that will only come in the examination believe in yourself keep smiling see you guys in our next video